All right, I'm going to go over some basics. I just got this AA30 from Rig Expert. I don't know a lot about it, but just going to show you the basics. Um, this will be for 11 meters. Got a power button down here. Power the baby on. It will come up. You got settings help, set frequency, set range, PC mode, scan SWR, scan RX, show SWR, show off. So, we <coughs> go two, and I'm going to set it for 11 meters channel one, 26965. All right, I'm going to click the uh, arrow for OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and do scan SWR, which is number four, and I hit the OK button. Now what this will do is this will show our SWRs. Okay. All right. Set it for twenty six nine fifty five plus four fifty. Hit OK. And there you can show our SWRs here. Right, and as you go down, it will show you the SWRs on each frequency by moving your arrow keys back and forth. So I'm showing 26.659 is very low, okay, versus say, let's go over here, 27.379. We go ahead, uh, show SWR is 7, 27379 is okay, 1.6, 3.3, .3. Okay. go back down in our frequencies by holding the arrow key to the left, <coughs> and as you go down a frequency and let off, that will show there's my SWR. 27288. 27288 is kind of channel 27. All right. Channel 40, 27405. Let's go up to Okay, 27405, which will be your channel 40 on the AM band. My SWRs are 1.36, which is very good. Um, go ahead down to 26965. And as you see, as you go down the band, my SWRs are getting a little bit lower. There's 27248, which is channel between channel 25 and 26. I usually talk on channel 17, which is 27165, so we'll check there. Okay, so where I talk, I'm getting a 1.2. SWR, okay, 27165, and continue down to channel 1, which is 26965, And on channel one, we are 1.48. Okay, X out of that. We can click on number eight, which will be show all. You pick your frequency. 
So you pick where you want to talk. Again, 27.165 is where I talk mostly. There we go. 27.165. And I'll click OK. And there, SWR is 1.28. And it shows other stuff, which is, this is the stuff I have to get into the manual and decipher. As you have R, X, L, it doesn't just show you the 50 ohms, like some other models. But uh, SWRs, 1.2, 8, 1.27 on this frequency. <coughs> can also uh, in your settings menu this is where you can go to 5, change it from 50 ohms to 75 ohms backlight on, sound on, model, next page resistive bridge levels, detector response test, built-in filter test uh, next page brings you back so, say you wanted to do something like resistive bridge levels, um, basically stuff that I have to read the manual on, it does that, to type the response test. <coughs> built-in filter test, it does its uh, filter, built-in filter test. So these have uh, a lot of nice features. Uh, scan RX. But for the normal person who just wants to get this just to check their antenna, very simple. Turn it on. Hit 2, set frequency, hit the check mark, OK. Uh, so number 4, scan SWR, how high up you want to go. OK. And you can go down to 26165 plus or minus 225, plus or minus 112, plus or minus 056, however you want to set it. That'll do plus or minus that frequency. So, when you move your cursor over, see there's SWRs at 27154, all the way up to 27214, which is like channel 21. So, you would increase this here to do it to 112 or 224. That'll do more of the frequency range before and after the frequency you set. So you do that with the uh, up and down buttons here. And then this is the buttons to go side to side through the frequency. So this is showing us on 27, let's go to 385. Now 384 to 388. Your SWRs is down to about a 1.2. Okay. But if you go down to 26965, okay, your SWR is a little higher. So as you see, my antenna, this lower SWRs on the higher channels. Okay. So if channel 1 is higher than 40, my antenna is too long. I'm sorry, my antenna is too short. My antenna is too short. So right now at the Antron, knowing this, 26,990, figure 26,965 is channel 1. And then 27,405 
which we go up to. Okay, figure 27405 is up here, the SWR is lower. You see, SWR is lower in 27405 than 26965, which would be channel 1. So, my SWR in channel 1 is higher than SWR in channel 40 on an 11 meter CB band. So, that means my antenna is too short. So, on the Antron, there's two tuning rings. That means I gotta drop the tuning rings and that will make the antenna longer. And what's nice is one person or I could be up there dropping the tuning rings and just have this connected. You don't need your radio anymore. You do a scan through the frequency range and you want to get it as level as you can or you want to get the SWRs as low as you can where you mostly talk. So if I talk 27165, all right, I'm still a little bit high. But I'm still good. I'm still under 1.5 SWR. I'm just over 1.2. All right. We can do seven again. Show SWR 27169, which is close to 27165. Click OK, and there you go. So where I talk most of the time, I'm a 1.27 SWR. That's pretty good. So I don't know everything about this yet, guys. I'm learning got to read the manual and watch a lot more videos, but I didn't find a lot of videos on the AA30. It doesn't just show your ohms like the MFJ or I guess other models do show the ohms, but that's just my basic overview. Uh, it only takes two AA batteries. Very nice lightweight unit. Um, I don't have the PC cable. There is a PC mode. I don't have the PC cable right now for it. It comes with software with no cable. So we'll have to look into that. And um, very nice lightweight unit. It only takes two AA batteries. And um, I will update the video as I learn more about the AA30.